Hey everyone, let's pull some cards for a love reading here. This is going to be, wow, so chatty. Let's pull some cards on someone's love life out there. Wow. Okay. They couldn't even ask the question. Just straight up was like, love reading. Here we go. Okay, so ten of cu ten of coins, excuse me, speaking about um, someone is reaching a point where they are totally ready to receive a relationship, which is amazing. Uh, feeling your most, oh, look at nine, 10 and 9. So definitely showing that you are ready and ready to receive and feeling your most confident self here. Um, being able to leave what no longer serves you, uh, old, old, like old beliefs, old things that you tell yourself and you're ready to accept a new relationship and what's backing you is the um the excuse me the ace of wands I'm getting sidetracked here I'm trying to listen to spirit here um finding a lot of passion with someone finding um good um uh, good connection uh good friendship um uh, some, this is coming in as somebody new. You're meeting somebody new. Look at the three and the three. So you you ended up either going to like a class, going to, um, they're actually saying a fitness class, which is funny, like a workout class, um, and you meet this person there, um, or you're going, you're learning s something else, like going to another type of schooling or something with a gathering and you're and you're meeting someone there so it starts out with going to somewhere that there's structure and learning and then deciding to go out and have fun um, with a group of people as well this is bringing in the eight the eight of wands is, and that is a lot of communication so making you feel like you're young again making you feel like nostalgic um, with this here, this is the temperance card, finding balance. So there's a really good balance between you and this person. They actually are able to bring peace to you, uh, to your life and the way that you feel. So that makes you fully go into smoother waters with this because, you know, a lot, a lot of us have hangups on past traumas, past relationships, things that don't didn't work out for us. Uh, but this is showing that they actually put you at ease and actually put each other at ease to be able to move in a, in a smoother ride or a smoother flow. So these two cards here, this is the two of wands along with the, excuse me, confirmation burp for abundance here with the ace of cups. Now, I want to point out that the two of wands here, this is showing a man or a masculine holding the earth and or the world and um, showing that they are contemplating like what's next, what's coming, what can we plan for um, as, a, as a as a two, a twofer, as a couple. Uh, they're really seeing you as um, abundant and seeing you guys abundant as like as a couple as a unit and it may be feeling like it's going kind of fast but it's because you guys gel really well together you guys express a lot of the same values and goals and things um this i'm taking as a time marker usually the three of swords is showing uh, heartbreak and sadness but what i feel like this is showing is a three weeks three months uh three years kind of thing so let's see a little more information on this three of swords time marker okay the hangman and the eight of swords okay so this is where we get a little hung up with wanting to push things too fast we don't need to push things too fast because when they're divine they come in during divine timing so if this person you and this person really want to move that fast our spirit's gonna go wait a minute wait a minute we can't do that because you guys have to learn about each other. You guys have to grow. You guys have to be um, emotionally mature before we can do that. You have to get out of your own heads and your own cycles by surrendering, right? So surrender and get the things out that need to get out to be able to move forward. Now, divine timing means that they're coming in just when you needed it. Like your hopes and dreams and desires. You wanted to have a relationship that was recipro reciprocal, one that was meaningful, one that um, was divinely you were divinely connected to each other right so because you are divinely connected that sometimes we can bring in shadow aspects or um, we mirror each other and, and we mirror the things that we need to work out work on 
and to not miss those things that are coming. So don't miss what's right in front of you. Um, there might feel like there's judgment, but that's because you're only reflecting back to each other what needs to be worked on like I was saying before there's a lot of things to learn and grow from and that there's new cycles here with this death card so it's almost feeling like um twin flamey um ooh, look so one of you is the queen of swords energy and one of you is the um king of of cups so just know that that this is going to evolve the way it needs to and that there is a big offer coming your way very very soon but just know that if this is like a, a like a twin flame thing that there is a process to everything and that sometimes it'll it'll ebb and flow right so it'll go faster take a little pause or take a, a slow down and then it'll ramp up again and then it'll you'll work on things together and then it'll slow down and be comfortable and then it'll ramp up again so it's because you guys are clearing out things for each other so don't take this as a negative because this is something you guys are working through and working on together to be able to have the best life moving forward as you can so the more that you work on on like these things that may feel like huge obstacles, they're really not. They're actually things that needed to be worked on together. You couldn't work on them without each other. So it's like perfect timing, uh, perfect meetups, perfect, like everything is divine timing. So like how you met at a class and how you evolved because you ended up going as a group with other people and like oh you you came too how cool like it's just divine timing serendipitous and things like that so just know that it starts out really friendly very off the cuff and then it ramps up into this huge um huge love story where you guys work on each other and work together to be your most fruitful fruitful selves and as a couple and as people singularly so it's like you guys are helping clear out traumas as well as creating this this big abundant life together so make sure to um take it how it comes and don't for something just let it ease into it or ease out of it ebbing and flowing is a huge thing right now so it's like uh, grounding your energy drinking the water journaling and taking time for yourself to to grow into what is going to be coming so this is like a, a huge message for you whoever this is for uh, because it's showing the progression very very quickly all these things are going to come in a progression it may not be in a one month but it may be over a span of five months six months and it's just you need to ride the wave and see how this turns out but know that it is leading into an abundant relationship when you are able to grow through these hurdles and and lulls okay so if, you, if this is you let me know in the comments if you'd like a personal reading you can always message me have a great day